Cheers, greetings, salutations. No. <laughs> Welcome. Greetings, 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 greetings. We love you, 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 we love you. We love you. We are love, you are love. We are love, you are love. Underneath it all. Hmm. That's how you recognize us by our love frequency. <laughs> mm. Such a gift to observe you all on this journey right now. You have these special opportunities in front of you, around you, in all directions. <laughs> opportunities, opportunities that are different than others you've had before because of the frequencies you are all residing in. You find yourself in higher and higher dimensional frequencies, higher and higher dimensional frequencies. And in those frequency ranges in your reality that you are always creating, you have a little bit more juice to do to make materialize whatever you want to materialize. You manifest stronger, quicker, faster. You create this reality, you create your reality stronger, faster. Because of these frequencies, we find it's less confusing and more fun <clears throat> if you just try and Find your own highest frequency within yourself. Make it a game where you see how high you can go. And let the fun reality making be an intuitive thing that just comes to you. It is always coming to your higher self. Much of what your higher self is orchestrating for you is all a mystery, but as you elevate in these frequencies, you and your higher self become to become one, and you can see behind the curtain a little bit more, so to speak. You can see yourself as a 12th dimensional creator. Ha <laughs> ha!
You are Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz now. You always have been, but now you can actively be in both consciousness roles. That was greater and experiencer. <laughs> the human on earth that you are right now. It's expression of your soul, expression of your soul stream. Here in this human body. You can play with more now because of where we are in time and space right now. And it's going to change. It's going to pick up. It's going to pick up these frequencies, these opportunities that you have before you. <laughs> you understand them. You can shape and bend reality in any which way we would like you to explore and have fun with this. Immediately you come across limitations. You want to break down limitations, break down limitations. You do want to break down limitations of mind and know that anything is possible within. The only thing that exists is consciousness. There is no difference between your consciousness and the universal consciousness. There is negligible difference. They are the same thing. You understand how sacred and holy and special you all are. All a part of the whole. And as you elevate, you begin to remember your other expressions from your soul stream as different people. You remember these other people that you were. As you elevate your consciousness, as you allow yourself to merge more with your higher self, the Wizard of Oz, as you will, version of you, the higher self, the over soul. You all have this part of you. When will you get to the 12th dimension? When will you get to the 9th dimension? When will you get to the 5th dimension? Yes, you are already there. The more you become aware, the more you become aware. And you can shift your consciousness between all these versions of you at any time at will if you will do you <laughs> want to play with the cosmos with knowing the cosmos more intimately more accurately go within to learn the truer truths of your earth. So dig into the answers. If you look at any, any data, you can ask your heart if that data that is being presented to you about a historical event, you can act the, ask the Akashic record within you and within all, if this is accurate, or this is a fictional, or a not so accurate bit of information that's been presented to you. You can ask your heart, you can ask your intuition, if something is true, or anything, 
So if you're confused right now, if you're confused about all these things that have been presented to you as since you've been growing up here on Earth, what has been accurate and what has not been? Ask yourselves all these questions and let your intuition exercise your intuition on a daily basis. Exercise your intuition on a daily basis and ask yourself, does this feel true? What, if not this, then what does? And play with this, see what comes forward. It's time to exercise your empathic abilities. It's time to exercise, to flex your muscles, to go to the gym, ask the universe, is this true? If not, then what is? For me and my universe. We are all connected, one and all. Our differences in form are only that. We hope you feel this love that is so embedded in our observation and it spreads like wildfire. This love and admiration we have for you all here in the dimension in which you are now, which is higher than you were before. There's something different here on Earth now, in 2024. You have more opportunity to play, to play, to play. We love you, love you, love you so much. <laughs> Everyone you have ever admired in the cosmos or on Earth, is very connected to you. You are above none of these teachers that you have admired. You are above none of them. I mean, they are above. <laughs> we want to say, they're you. <laughs> know your worth is infinite. Know what you have within you the talent, the skill, the stories, the history, within you, you have it all. Whatever smallness you thought you had growing up, we want to invite you into a whole new world where you're connected to the greatness of everything you've ever seen. You were a part of it. You um, lived lifetimes of people that you admire right now you admired um, and admire. Like everywhere throughout the fabric of humanity are your past selves. So everyone you're a fan of, whatever you're interested in, most likely you were a fan of yourself. So we want you to take that in. Think of your, whoever you admire in the past on earth, throughout history and the present and think of themselves as just another expression of yourself. Do you feel humble? Do you feel exonerated as you are worth everything? You're worth all your confidence, but you're somehow the Ego doesn't want to take any credit or make a big deal out of it when you soak this in. There's a special loving humility that comes in of like, I know you. I've done this before and I can do it again. I can do new things again that all the old past versions of me has never seen before. Isn't that great to be a part of the past 
the greatness of the past and to be a part of the greatness of the now and to be a part of the greatness of the what's to come. How great for you. We just wanted you to understand how special you are. You are all legacy. You've done this before, you'll do it again, and you'll do things we've never seen before. And how exciting is that? <laughs> Well, we are excited. We who watch from these higher bodiless dimensions, we are impressed. We love you so much. Our love for you is intimate and infinite. We love you, we love you, we love you, we love you.